man has been acting on stage since he was a kid, and Beyonce herself has even gone to see him perform on Broadway. Were you nervous for that? That night, I'm incredibly nervous. Did I you did. know she was in the audience? Yeah, because I had had experiences in the weeks leading up of see, not knowing and then like spotting somebody and having it like mess with me. Oh, so yeah. I always wanted to know. So you and asked, and yes. they said Beyonce will be here tonight. I said who's coming this week, and they told me for each night, and they was like, and then Thursday will be Beyonce, and I was like, excuse me. <laughs> um, wow. And then I would have known anyway because as soon as the lights go up, there's just, you can just see her hair. Like, right. It, it, and by the way, did she? <laughs> did you? Did you feel good about the show you put on that night? No, because like, how could you? But right. then she was really lovely afterwards and in a way that made me feel good. Right. Okay, I want to keep the renaissance going as he regales us <laughs> with stories from a star-studded <laughs> life experience. Here we go. Um, tell me this. You have said before that Zac Efron was your celebrity crush growing up. How much did you freak out when he wrote your essay when you were chosen for Time's uh, 100 Influential People List in 2017? Definitely freaked out, but was disappointed that there was no in-person element. Right. Uh, <laughs> when was the first moment you realized, wow, I'm famous? Oh, God. I don't know that I've realized. I mean, probably Beyonce coming to see Evan Hansen, I would say. What was going through your mind at the 2018 Grammys when you did your salute to Broadway alongside Patti LuPone? I'm so grateful to not be following Patti LuPone. Right. What I was thinking. I went first. Who left you completely <laughs> starstruck besides Beyonce when they visited you backstage at Dear Evan Hansen? Oh, I'm Andy Patinkin because I love, as I said, Sunday in the Park with George and he's the original. So what about great. at Parade? I mean, who, I don't even remember who came to parade. Every Jew on the earth came to parade. Every so. Jew <laughs> on the earth. Streisand? Yeah, well, Streisand came to Evan Hansen, not parade. She but did. That was great. And she asked me a lot about snotting and crying and singing. Really? Yeah, it was a really fun conversation about the inner workings of my How do you kids. control your snot when you're crying on stage? That's exactly what it sounded right. like. Yes. Except just wear a hat. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say was the most fulfilling part about creating theater camp with your closest friends? Oh, I think just like, Positively triggering others in the sense that it's like it's it's nice for the theater kids to have a win and to, to feel reflected in something funny and hopefully like a little cool and it was it was fun to make that for them. Okay, last question: Which of your two Tony performances were you more nervous for, Dear Evan Hansen or Parade? The first, Dear Evan Hansen for sure, because that that was just my first rodeo. Right. Okay. Thank you very. much.